Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to use service mode on the Zanussi Flexitime models. This is a ZWF 844B3PW, but this tutorial will apply for any Zanussi and Electrolux machine with this style of fascia. Now first of all what you want to do is you want to make sure the machine is off and that there's nothing in the drum. To access service mode, you need to turn the dial to Eco 4060 while holding Start and Night Mode. You'll see CO1 and it will enter service mode and begin cycling through all the LEDs and this is the first test. You progress through all of the test sequences by using the program selector LED and turning it clockwise. So, for example, Cossens will be the next one. Now this is the main wash valve, so it's filling through the main wash compartment of the drawer. Next is the pre-wash compartment, which this machine doesn't have, so it just fills directly through the cascade instead. Next is the softener valve, so it's filling through the softener compartment. Now, the next two are for features that this machine doesn't have. I'm presuming one is the jet system and the other one is something else like a bleach compartment or some other compartment that this machine doesn't have. So that's wall and denim. And they both show the level of water in the, in, in the drum in millimetres. Next up is a heating test. So it shows the temperature on the display in degrees Celsius, that's the temperature of the water. Next up is the leak test, this will tumble one way, so it will tumble clockwise while showing the RPM and then it will tumble anti-clockwise up to 250 RPM to test for leaks in the outer tub. Next up is the motor test that will drain out all the water and it will spin up to full speed which for this model is 1360 RPM and the display will show the RPM in multiples of 10. Even hit 1370 there for a second. Next is nothing. It will unlock the door here. Once it's slowed down, of course, it's not going to unlock the door while it's spinning. Might be a door lock test because it does unlock the door, but the display doesn't actually show anything, as you can see. Next up is, I'm assuming, error code storage. So I think that's what all of these are, is error code storage. EF4, I basically did that by entering service mode while it was not plumbed in. And because obviously when you turn service mode off and then turn the machine back on, it tries to do ELE, pretty much instantly it gave EF4. So I don't actually know what EF4 means because I'm not that familiar with Electrolux Group error codes, but I can only assume it's water related because I've had no other issues with this machine. Next is again LED test. So I'm so this must just be blank spaces. Yeah, and same again there. Yeah, so those are blank spaces. So you turn it off. When you turn it back on, it will enter ELE mode. So you then turn it off 
and turn it back on and you will exit service mode and you'll be able to use your machine as normal. And it'll unlock the door in a second. There we go. And you're now able to use your machine as normal again. Quick disclaimer that service mode is a tool used for diagnosis and fault finding only. It's mainly to be used for engineers only. However, if you have a bit of know-how, you can use it to help determine the cause of the fault in your appliance. I will not be held liable for any damage to appliances as a result of following this tutorial for destructive purposes. Service mode is under no circumstances to be used with clothes in the drum or with anything else in the drum. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was useful. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.